Usually buying a donor car with a running engine, big block, good drive line, is a great way to speed up a project. This isn't that. Nope. <laughs> What is this and where did you get it? So this is a sweet find off of Craigslist. It's a 1986 Suncrest Motorhome on a mint GMC chassis. It's got a big block Chevy. It's got a TS400 and a solid dually rear end to put in the GMC truck. Before we do that, we're gonna yank the motor and we're gonna take it down to West Tech and we're gonna see what kind of horsepower an original motorhome engine actually makes. And then we're gonna throw some speed parts on it and we're hoping to get there with about 200 horsepower right out of the motorhome and leave with something ridiculous like five or six. But first, we got to get it out. took a minute and a half of time-lapse video. Get a smaller donor car next time. <sighs> Project out. <laughs> We towed our 30-year-old 454 out of the motorhome down to West Tech to see what it would do on the engine dyno, if it's healthy. Motorhome miles are kind of like dog years, where it's only got 35,000, but that's a lot. So it could either be really healthy or really sick. So we're gonna see what kind of horsepower it makes, and we've got a Trick Flow top end kit where we can add a lot more horsepower to it. How much horsepower does an 87 RV have? Let me have a look. Here's what I found on the web for how much horsepower does an 87 RV That's pretty close. Have. First search. Thanks, Siri. So we ran this turn on the dyno and it actually wasn't half bad. So the torque was pretty surprising. The power was kind of, I think, more or less expected. Um, that's kind of what they were designed for, was a whole bunch of torque and not necessarily a whole bunch of power. There's no engine speed really, but. Uh... So it made 480 foot-pounds of torque. This is an RV motor. It's an exact configuration of how it came out of the RV. Save for a set of dyno headers, we haven't changed anything. So 480 pound feet, that almost makes up for the 1,200 pounds that it weighs. You haven't changed anything, including the grease on the thing. Right, so. it's filthy. So what we're going to do now is we're going to break this thing down. We've got a top end kit from TrickFlow and we want to see how much horsepower we can coax out of this thing. dirty old 454 out of a motorhome. It's got a set of TrickFlow PowerPort 280 heads, a 236-242 hydraulic roller camshaft with 600 inches of lift, a Summit Racing single plane intake manifold. We borrowed one of Steve's Holly XP carburetors to see if this thing will make some real horsepower. Oh, 
to see this. Let me see here. 330 is 1.69. Yep, 557. So it's a 70% uh, increase in power from where it was. <laughs> All right. That's worth it. That's pretty amazing. The, the, the trick flow kit sells for like just under 3,600 bucks. 3,600 well, bucks for a 70% increase good. in horsepower. We need to go to the gas station. Pump gas? This is pump gas. Oh, what's in it now? 91 octane. We need to go to the gas station and get 87. Yeah. Do you, now think you make 560 horsepower and 87, 87 octane, you're somebody. You're styling, man. You got a tank? We got a jug. You have a jug right here? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. that doesn't cost a ton of money. And at the end of the day, this is something the average guy could save up, he could do, he could make a ton more power, and the car still runs well, it makes great idle vacuum, and it'd be a fun, everyday street cruiser. <laughs>